Good morning, people. Valerie Ling here. Let's just say I'm Valerie Ling here. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, so happy new year, 2020. It's just another year, just another decade. I'm not a big fan of resolutions. However, because I um, am all about making sure that we all launch the year uh, with that thinking that doesn't contribute further to us dragging ourselves down because most of us, let's face it, by March, <clears throat> a lot of our well-intentioned self-care plans and thoughts about how we're going to be refueled are probably going to be quite challenged. So here's one thing I want to leave with you uh, as you start your year with a commitment to be refueled, recharged, revitalized for a year without burnout. It all starts up here. The two key scripts that will undermine our efforts to remain uh, burnout proofed is one of perfectionism, unrelenting standards, and the other is a tendency towards self-sacrifice. Now, I want to speak into the self-sacrifice uh, scripts that run into our head. You see, uh, when it comes to being burnout proof, it's not what you do necessarily. It's what you're not doing. And one of the key things we're not doing when we are burning out is actually fighting some self-sabotaging scripts that run through our head. So what I want to say is you need to grab that and work on that vulnerability consistently. And here's my challenge to you today. You've probably thought about your rest and holidays. You've probably thought about <clears throat> things like I've got to exercise, I've got to sleep, and I've got to um, eat, and all of that stuff. And yes, that's all great. But here's what I reckon you haven't thought about. I want you to go through the last week, and every time you've taken care of someone else's need, check to see whether you did the same for yourself. Because I guarantee you, you're going to find some spots and spaces in that self-sacrifice subroutines that you've done exactly that, taking care of someone else's specific needs and you've done you've not done the match of the parallel with yourself. Sorry, a bit of pointing there. Yeah. <clears throat> it could be a simple thing of you haven't actually done a particular chore for yourself. You haven't actually done a particular sort of shopping for yourself. You haven't actually made a trip to somewhere, the hairdresser, the dentist, the chiro, the physio, the podiatrist, somewhere for yourself. Hey, good morning, Katerina. Nice to see you. Do a quick checklist of the last week and that will certainly highlight to you where some of your burnout leaks are going to be for the rest of the year. And then you know what? Make a plan. Put those things in. Meet that vulnerability head on. Take care of that self-sacrifice scheme straight away. Catch you later.